In 1977, a Titan III-E rocket stood ready in Florida, carrying Voyager 1, a machine destined for the stars. This was more than a spacecraft, it was humanity's boldest messenger, set to explore Jupiter, Saturn, and then the unknown. Voyager 1's mission was possible thanks to a rare planetary alignment, allowing it to slingshot from one giant to the next. Its twin, Voyager 2, would follow a different path, but together, they were our generation's explorers. As the rocket roared to life, Voyager 1 began a journey not measured in human lifetimes but in cosmic time. Small in size, enormous in ambition, it carried our hopes and questions into the vast darkness. We sent it to be our eyes and ears to see what we could not. The grand tour was a feat of celestial navigation using gravity to save years of travel. Voyager 1 was aimed at Jupiter and Saturn, while its twin would visit Uranus and Neptune. We launched our emissary on a one-way trip, an act of faith in science and the future. Voyager 1 would outlive its creators, wandering the Milky Way for billions of years. It became our message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean, a greeting from a distant, watery world, sent with a simple hope, we are here. This was not just a mission, it was a testament to our curiosity and our willingness to reach beyond. Voyager 1's journey had begun, carrying a piece of us into the unknown, and so humanity's story left Earth, bound for the stars. Attached to Voyager 1 is the Golden Record, a time capsule, a greeting card to the cosmos. If an alien civilization ever finds this tiny craft, the record is our introduction. What do you say to the universe? Carl Sagan's team faced that question. They chose 115 images, DNA, our solar system, people eating, running, laughing. The record carries the sounds of earth wind, rain, whales, birds, a kiss, a mother's first words, a heartbeat. Greetings in 55 languages say, hello from the children of planet Earth. The message is peace and friendship. 90 minutes of music span cultures and centuries. Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, Peruvian folk songs, New Guinea chants, Louis Armstrong, it's a playlist for the stars, a symphony of humanity. The cover holds instructions in the universal language of science, showing how to play the record and where to find our sun. It's a risk, sharing our address, but it's a gesture of optimism. The golden record is more than data, it's a symbol of hope and our desire to connect. It says, we were here, and this is our story. Voyager carries not just science but a piece of our soul, it's a message in a bottle floating through the cosmic sea. We reached out believing someone someday might listen. The golden record is our invitation to the universe. It's a testament to our creativity, our diversity, and our longing to be known. Voyager's journey is also the journey of our story. In 1979 Voyager 1 reached Jupiter, the king of planets. From afar Jupiter is a bright point. Up close Voyager revealed a world of storms and chaos. The great red spot once thought calm was a raging hurricane three times Earth's size. Voyager's images showed powerful winds, lightning and surprisingly, a faint dusty ring, but Jupiter's moons stole the show. Io was alive with volcanoes, its surface painted by eruptions, plumes soaring into space. Europa, with its cracked icy shell, hinted at a hidden ocean beneath, raising the possibility of life. Suddenly, these moons became worlds of their own, each with mysteries to explore. Voyager transformed our view of the outer solar system from static to dynamic. Jupiter was no longer just a planet, it was a system of wonders. Voyager 1 didn't just visit, it revealed a universe of surprises. The journey had only just begun. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 raced toward Saturn, the solar system's jewel. Saturn's rings, once thought solid, were revealed as countless icy ringlets shaped by gravity and tiny shepherd moons. Voyager found dark spokes, ripples and waves, evidence of a complex ever-changing system. The spacecraft gave us our first close look at Saturn's moons cratered Mimas, icy Enceladus and mysterious Titan. Titan, shrouded in orange haze was the main target. Voyager's instruments pierced the atmosphere, revealing a world rich in nitrogen and methane, with organic chemistry reminiscent of early Earth. The surface was hidden, but the data suggested a place where the building blocks of life might form. To get this data, Voyager sacrificed the chance to visit Uranus and Neptune. It was a choice, a closer look at Titan or the rest of the Grand Tour. We chose mystery over distance. Voyager's encounter with Saturn and Titan changed our understanding of what moons could be. The mission pressed on, deeper into the unknown. After Saturn and Titan, Voyager 1's grand tour was over. Its path now pointed out of the solar system, toward the stars. The interstellar mission had begun. To keep traveling, keep listening, 
and become humanity's first emissary to the space between stars. The sun shrank to a distant point, the planets faded behind. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager turned its camera back for a final portrait. Earth appeared as a pale blue dot, a fragile speck in the cosmic dark. The cameras were turned off, but Voyager's instruments kept measuring the edge of the sun's influence. It sailed into the unknown, charting territory no probe had ever explored. Voyager 1 was now our scout at the edge of home, its greatest adventure was just beginning. The journey to interstellar space had started. For decades Voyager 1 pressed outward, crossing the solar system's final frontier. It passed through the termination shock, where the solar wind slows and the sun's influence wanes. Scientists watched for signs of the crossing, the heliopause where interstellar space begins. In August 2012 the data changed, solar particles dropped, cosmic rays surged, and the magnetic field shifted. Voyager 1 had left the heliosphere, entering the space between stars, the first human-made object to do so. It now bathed in the material of ancient exploded stars, feeling the interstellar wind. The data was a treasure direct measurements of plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. For humanity, it was a symbolic leap, we had become an interstellar species. Voyager was no longer just a visitor, it was a wanderer of the Milky Way. The laws of physics were the same, but the environment was utterly alien. Voyager's crossing redefined our place in the universe. We had touched the stars if only with a machine. The journey continued deeper into the galaxy. Voyager 1's journey has been a triumph of engineering and ingenuity. Built with 1970s technology, its computer has less memory than a car key fob. Yet, it has survived decades in the harshest environment, thanks to the dedication of engineers at NASA. When systems failed, gyroscopes, scan platform thrusters, the team found creative solutions from billions of miles away. In 2017, dormant thrusters unused since 1980 were reactivated, saving the mission. In 2023, a memory chip failure garbled Voyager's data. Engineers devised a digital workaround restoring communication. Each fix was a testament to human problem solving and perseverance. A radio signal now takes over 22 hours to reach Voyager. The team keeps the spacecraft alive, one challenge at a time. Their dedication keeps our distant explorer talking to us. Voyager's survival is a story of teamwork, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Against all odds the dream endures. Voyager 1 continues to whisper from the void. Voyager 1's power comes from a radioisotope generator but its energy is fading. Each year, the output drops. Systems are shut down to conserve power. Cameras went dark first, then heaters and instruments, each shut down a small goodbye. The goal, keep Voyager talking, sending precious data from interstellar space. By 2025 only one instrument may remain. By 2036, even the faint carrier signal will fade. When silence comes, it will mark the end of an era. Yet Voyager's journey won't end. It will drift through the galaxy for millions of years. It will outlast Earth and Sun, a silent ghost ship carrying our story. Voyager is a fading whisper, but its legacy will echo long after it falls silent. Our message will travel on into the unknown. Voyager 1's legacy is immense. It revolutionized our understanding of Jupiter, Saturn and their moons. It gave us the first direct measurements of interstellar space and inspired future missions. But its impact goes beyond science. The pale blue dot photo changed our perspective, reminding us of Earth's fragility and unity. The golden record is our best self, sent in hope and curiosity. Voyager is a symbol of exploration, courage, and the human spirit. It connects us to the cosmos, inspiring generations of dreamers. Voyager is proof that even a small species can reach for eternity. It is more than a machine, it is an idea, a story worth telling. As it drifts among the stars it carries our greeting, our hope, and our legacy. Voyager 1 is humanity's silent ambassador to the stars, its journey has only just begun.